a nice pretty blue flame. I've had a lot of questions asking if other oils work with the carbon felt wick, the most common used motor oil. This is much more volatile. You can see the black smoke just pouring off. This is what I call my Coke can waste oil lantern. Yeah. And it will just burn like that um, until you blow it out. G'day viewers, how the devil are you? Okay, there's the output from the flu. It actually looks a lot worse on camera uh, than what it does in real life for some reason. Uh, if I go up a bit higher and look at it against the sky, there's hardly anything. If this was a wood fire, you'd be saying it was burning quite clean. I would like it to have no smoke at all, but uh, I've, I've not been able to accomplish that on these draft burners. Uh, with the oil input, it's uh, not particularly critical uh, where you put it. Having it in that hole actually limits the, uh, the speed of the burn a little bit. Now that this thing has warmed up, uh, got up to heat and the sun's off it, you uh, may or may not be able to see that there's barely any uh, smoke coming out of this. More like a, uh, a thin haze really. Uh, that's uh, how it runs uh, when you've got it tuned. Alright, so here is a, a blue flame uh, waste oil burner. I have a lot of that old motor oil burn. And yeah, very clean. Yes. Yeah, blue flame. some heat. 
heat. I don't like to get too close to it. That's interesting. Yeah, just kind of goes back down to a, a dirty yellow flame. Here's what happens if you try to burn gasoline. Well, it still burns with a very clean flame, but it's yellow. Fuel. It's just warming up. I'm guessing it'll burn with a yellow flame a lot like gasoline did. After a few minutes, it seems like the diesel fuel has established somewhat of a equilibrium. And it is burning with the yellow flame. Okay, back on motor oil again. Alvaline full synthetic. Of course, and we're back to totally blue flame. A little bit of yellow way down in every so often, but blue on the top. And you can see the the oil down in there boiling away. Air dryer on cool setting. Interestingly, toward the end of a burn, it kind of turns back to a yellow flame. Probably because there's not quite enough fuel evaporating to um, sustain the full vapor generation. Old dirty brake fluid changed out of a vehicle. We'll see how it does. So far the brake fluid is burning with a, a translucent orange flame. Not yellow, but translucent orange. It's also boiling pretty good. It's also warming up, so I expect the fire will increase some Try some veggie oil and some kind of random mixtures of solvents and oil. We're even going to try some wood pellets. Let's see how that goes first. About that much. All right, well, there's burning pellets, mostly blue flame. Little bit of yellow. Eh, pellets don't work great. Besides, there's no real way to feed them in. Like you can run a line to run drip, drip uh, oil in. Well, the facts about veggie oil are definitely that it's hard to get it lit. So the flame looks yellow in the video but it's actually more of a magenta. And we've got a glowing cylinder. We've got glowy spots.
evidence everywhere that there's an air jet. Definitely blue flames down in there. Now we've turned the fan down and put a gap there. And we're definitely getting more of a blue dancing flame. Now we're definitely getting more of the blue flame action with veggie oil. Still looks yellow on the camera but it's more blue and magenta. definitely getting better action with the veggie oil. It just takes a while for that to really get going. It takes a lot of heat. Definitely all clean blue flame or translucent. So we're going to do an extended run of the blue flame burner with my new um, drip system and it is a siphon system. Oh, every so often it pops. Anyway, um, it is slowly dripping. See that? Uh, and we started out with pretty much a full gallon. You can see the level here on the side of the jug. We're just above the, what is that? I don't know, the three liter mark, four liter mark. Okay, here it's liters on this side. So one, two, three, four, just above four liters. And it's staying uh, like it's not building up down in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, so yeah, it's not. Oof. It does that every so often. I don't know if there's moisture that builds up or what. So here we are exactly an hour later and we have used oh, a little over a liter we're a little over an hour and a half and still doing a nice beautiful blue flame here and we've used about two quarts two liters I should say so it should be pretty easy to calculate um, what the energy output is right back again and it seems that we are down to we've used about two and a half liters and it's been exactly two hours Everything's still running good, so we'll see how this is dripping. Yep, just, just about between a trickle and a drip.
breaking down some plastic. So it's about 8 o'clock in the evening. This thing's been running about 11 hours. And we've gotten two big gas bags full of gas. So we've got a hose going over here. And this gas bag is almost full. This is the second one. 